Hi, Carol here. Thank you for joining me in my craft room today. I am behind, behind. I have got to hurry myself up because I have a few hours before I have to wrap this. I am really happy with the way the bottom turned out here. And if you're watching the videos, you will know that not only was it a consuming, <laughs> slow process, but it was fun and I liked it. And I think as a vintage piece, it turned out very nice. Uh, the thing I couldn't do, I couldn't put pressure to pull out the Mod Podge extra glue. And there was a few places that had bubbles I tried to get at and my fingers stuck and I pulled away the um, paper, but that's okay. I'll figure out something there in the embellishment stage. We're not there yet. Remember if you have writing, which way it's going to go. I edged all of, I distressed all my edges and uh, with my distressing tool and I used the uh, gathered twigs mostly on this and there's the inside. I don't know if you can see the filigree on that dark paper there. Can you see that now? And it turned out beautiful. And where the white ink, I saw a little place down there. See it in the corner? That's white ink. I'm just going to grab, what I do is I take my um, inking tool and I take this off. I fold it up like this and I ink it and I get in all of the areas that the wood will not take. me. See, it's already gone. Look at that. And um, I will do that later. That's just taking up time, too much time. Okay, so all I could do in the matter of, oh, look at that. I didn't finish my dessert. <laughs> ah, yikes. See what stress does to me? I just start, I get giddy because I know I'm under stress. See how in some places there it was raised up? My crazy lights. There we go. But that's okay because I did what I could with the sponge pulling it down with the Mod Podge mat but I love that vintage look. I love that it got a little wrinkly crinkly. That's good. This is really stable with the masking tape. I, I would I don't think in any of my uh, uh, glued project box projects I'm going to use double-sided tape and Tyvek. I love this. Um, I just think it came out nice. I added legs to the bottom, as you can see there, out of those little box, uh, little jars. I got all different sizes from the thrift store. So I've got 26 little uh, boxes of glass jars, excuse me, of these different sizes. Uh, I am a thrift store-aholic, as you can tell. I love to gather little items, you know, uh, that people, you know, threw away and now it's my treasure. So there's the bottom. It fit my uh, gift, whoa, beautifully here. There we are. The card's going to go in there like on the back tied. Look at that. Can you see I still have room? A little bit of jiggly room, but not much. Exactly what I wanted. Doesn't that look sweet? I'm so excited to give this to her. So, anyway, now we are going to... I can't use the scissors anymore. It's, it's a little bit of a strain, so I'm going to use my cutting knife. All right. So now we have all the edges all nicely wrapped. We are going to put it together, and this is how I do it. Lay it open and make the crease go nicely there. Bring it up and pull it over. Remembering you're not going to see that bottom. Okay, there we are. So now I have a nice corner. See my nice corner? And this is the beauty of this whole thing, my friends, is that 
No, I'm not going to do that because I see a little accident happening there. Uh, the beauty of this, let's just miter the corners like I did in the last one. One, two. Nice little V. There we go. Because I'm moving like a snail, I'm telling you, I should have started this project um, like anything else a long time ago. But I work well under stress. That is my middle name. Work well under stress. Carol, work well under stress. As long as everything has a nice top on it, like there you go, nice corner, and it's okay with me. And I think that's why I like uh, vintage so much because there's room for error. Isn't that wonderful? Why didn't I think of that before? Using the cutting mat? I don't know. So, just start it out like this. Can you see me there? There we go. And, yeah, when you do vintage, it has to look aged, so all your boo-boos look like they're there on purpose. Love it. Okay, here's your other corner. This is what I'm saying with pressing it out. I don't have the strength to press. And when I do this, I'm trying not to get to the very top. Oop, I just did there. Don't say it. Then you won't do it. There we go. And she is not going to notice. I will be the only one that notices any error. If I'm happy with it, there's the two corners. I'm going to take it back. Isn't that beauteous? I'm going to have so much. I have five albums to go out to friends. Okay, this is what I should have done before. Not only you have a measuring place to measure. Look at, I can just take the pieces I need and cut them. Why didn't I discover that? I did now, though. Okay, so let's take this corner. Now it gets easier, right, because we're on the finishing home run, and we've lear I've learned from my mistakes here. Push it together like that. I'm trying to think of where I saw... I, this was... Her name is Lori... She works for Graphic 45. If you just look that up, you will find her wonderful tutorials. I have put a lot in my favorites. Very talented lady. Very talented. And I could take uh, forever naming off a lot of talented people. I was on the fr frugal... <laughs> the frugal frugal... The frugal... <laughs> the frugal crafter got to be very careful with your words there the frugal crafter and last night man is she talented and she has so many neat ideas uh she was doing a watercolor painting that i am going to case because i loved it and i love to watercolor paint so i'm going to do a few cards with you on uh, that are watercolor and use a couple of her ideas Wonderful. And I mean, she does something on everything. You can't see, I, I got to thinking this last night. You can't see um, everybody's blog, right? I don't think you'd ever live long enough to find and search out everybody's blog in the crafting world. But I've had a lot of time on my hands with my iPad and my stylus, and I have been searching out topics, you know, like craft topics. Watercoloring, Copics is my love. I love anything Copics. And I love making boxes. Any ideas that you can get for boxes, embellishing albums, minis, whew, the list goes on. Okay, there we have it. We are ready to go. And we'll leave you there. Let's clean up from that. I don't need any more masking tape. So 
so it can go back in its little house. I'm going to take a little um, sip of my crafting juice. If you would please excuse me, my mouth is dry from yakking. This is my crafting juice. Okay. Oh, it felt good. Nice and cold. My hubby hit them all chilled. Oh, it's so good. All right, now let's get this pulled back and let's go into our painting stage. My painting brush is here and then I will make one more video and that is going to be the embellishing video. My hubby got these um, paper towels on sale. These one layer paper towels. I do not like them. I like the nice bountiful, bounty, fluffy ones. These are, I mean, listen to it. It's like cardboard. I don't like it, but they were on sale for a really good price. It's all about saving a little bit where you here and there where you can so that you can buy extra craft supplies, right? <laughs> ah, okay, where am I? All right, Carol, Carol, Carol. Green. Let's get our palette ready and shake these up. These are from Walmart or Apple Barrel or Michaels. I can't remember. This one is called, I found out where you find the color. This is Palm Leaf. So um, I am going to use my craft mat. Let me get my scissors out of the way. And my accident ready to happen cutting knife. I may use that. Okay, I'm cleaned up. Go. Whoa. Okay, some of that. I'll leave it right there. I don't know if you can see that color. Probably not. Um, this is the gold. This is the Folk Art Outdoor Metallics 1654 Pure Gold we're talking about here for metal, wood, terracotta, concrete, and stone. Oh, this one the oil or whatever sits on the top. I was watching the Frugal Crafter and she was painting a watercolor painting uh, for card. I, I just find her hysterical. I'll tell you what. And she has twins to boot. I don't know how. I thought I was like a thrift store maniac and trying to get a good buy and buying stuff and junk everywhere, but I think she has me beat. I do. The frugal crafter. And then she has this thing, you know, now that I'm laid up, I uh, have more time to look at all these sites and um, what color was that brown? Sorry, I'm Gabby Gavin again. This is nutmeg, nutmeg brown. And then the green, uh, gelato and this is in your set of 12 or whatever you get there all right so let's start off with this I am going to do what I want to see what you're going to see in the gelato which is the corners because it'll give you a nice deep green so I will carry on just doing the corners the top Like this. Okay. Just a little line all across here. There. Okay. I've used down just about all of that on the other one. But I noticed I don't need that much. Grab your paintbrush. Now, the one thing I learned about paintbrushes from the Frugal Crafter is was so smart because she said to buy your paint brushes with the acrylic on the top not like this let me stop here uh, the wood um, this is craft smart and now I stopped buying the wooden ones and I have moved on to these acrylics reason being when they're in the water continually and uh, they crack 
and she was absolutely right. I took my note and look at that. And this is fairly new. So I have switched over. This is a Royal Soft uh, Grip Pen, SG170, and it has the flat point. But anyway, I'm switching over to um, um, the acrylic. Made sense. Made perfect sense to me. I'm just watering this down to get the crayon-y look off there. The other thing is that you're painting on a plasticky type thing. This uh, surface, this gelat, our uh, painter's tape, right? I have, my head is spinning with ideas. Spitting, I tell you. My friend Carolyn did a uh, an album after seeing this. Uh, and Carolyn, it she just, you know what, I'm going to do one. And she did, and I'm sure, uh, you know, others out there do the same. When you see somebody, you just go, I can do that. I'm going to try that. And she sent me pictures last night, and I'm telling you, it is stunning. This album, with all of its interaction features... Out does this. I'm telling you. Way to go, Carolyn. Woo! Um, that's what I love. I love when somebody sees something that you do, which you've probably, you know, I've probably cased it and, or got the idea from somebody and then just, you know, went ahead and made it my own. But I love it when they email me and say they're going to do it. I get so anxious. I, you know, it's like waiting for a baby or something. <laughs> I'm not waiting for me. But, um, you know what I mean. You get my gist. Okay, so that's how far we are with that. Now let's jump into the paint. Got a little bit of gelato base on the edges. And you don't have to be perfect on that, which I learned. Let me put that down. Uh, from the other box, just get her down there. Hawk her down and get her down. Let's go. And it goes with the old vintage thing. Um, there we are. Then you're always going to have one side that you have to lay down, right? That drives me a little nuts because... There we go. And then I was going to crackle this uh, outside, but then I got to thinking, no way, because um, dipping it to get more color. Um, you're not going to see it once you put down your uh, base. Let me get on the inside here. So you're going to see the corners and a quarter of an inch, right? And this has to dry before I can start embellishing. And I was watching um, the CHA videos of people that have gone, like Helen Hudson. I get her blog and oh, all of the stuff that's out this year and the new Cricut machine. Let me just jump in there. I didn't think they could make anything better than the Expression 2, the electronic one that I have. Oh, yes, they did. They did. You have to check it out. It's going to be out in February. I don't know. It's going to kill me not to heck to get it. I really want it. I don't use the one I have, so I could get another one. So I don't use that one either. I don't know what the problem is. It's crafty. There it has to be a name for it. Besides crafty addiction. But I just can't stand it. I just love it. So it's going to be in out of in release um, 2000 or I'm sorry, February. Which isn't far off. Okay, did I have to do that there? No. See what happens when you're talking? 
my main concern is to just get a green base because I'm putting brown on there, right? There we go. There. Okay. How much time do we have next to nothing, probably? Um, oh my. Yikesy, yikes. All right, when I come back on this, it's going to be all painted and all we're going to have to do is embellish. And I'm gonna have everything out to embellish and um, added some water there. That's better. Remembering you only see a quarter of an inch there, I should heed my own. Um, thoughts here. Okay, we're finished with that. Maybe. I didn't do this top. Every time I turn around, I see something. Ooh. I'm tired. Okay, there we go. My sisters, I'm going to make her sit through the whole video. Thing. Wouldn't, wouldn't that be funny? That's what we'll do tonight. It is going to be camera night, girls. Get your popcorn, get your juice, and let's watch Diane's, how we put together Diane's vintage. I'm cleaning that out. Oh yeah, okay. We are on to the brown. While I still have time, let's do it. So, let's start, let's see. Let her drop. All right, let's get some brown. And this isn't gonna take as long as the rest of it. Because my base is down there. That's done, see what I mean? A little bit of gold running through there. Remember that it's the edges, so get it on the edges. Get some brown. This is awesome. Awesome. Okay. You can see that gold. This is nice. If it was dry in between my layer, it would be even better. But this is the lid. This is what's going to have um, the embellishments. So I'm not concerned as much. Ah, oh, love that. We're going with it. I'm gonna have to dry this with the um, with my heat tool because I'm not going to redo it just because I was too lazy to um, dry it. I want to add just a tad of dark here. There. Yeah. Sweet. All I got to say. This is going to be nice. As I was doing the other one, like I was saying, you realize what you should do and what you, I'm sorry, what you need to do. Uh, that you're not wasting paint and stuff. And stuff, you know that stuff? There we go. Another thing I liked with that album, Carolyn, was um, the uh, all of the inside embellishments, like you know, like the waterfall, and uh, you have to see it. She has to post it. Maybe she'll post it over on Stamp Connection, and everybody can see it when it's completed. I'm going to add some gold, more gold right here, like that. See on the edges? Awesome. Let's get some of that gold in there. There. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I love it. Love it. Can you see that? Can you see that? Of course you can. I got the camera on it. Doesn't matter if you care. 
I was watching. <laughs> um, oh, another talented uh, lady. And she's there. Let me. Okay, do you like this? I was cracking up. Just let me know. Oh, you can't. Leave me a comment. <laughs> She goes, isn't this crazy? Like, we, we talk to ourselves in, in the room, like in our craft room. We're, we're just talking. Nobody's here. Uh, we're just having a soliloquy all to ourselves. There. Oh, love that. I have to use up the, the gold, so I want to put that in there. You're not going to see that much, but you are going to see that when I pull it out. Isn't that pretty? Okay, I'm winding down to three minutes. So, um, I can get the bottoms here if I go like this. There we go. I'm just going to paint all the way around it. I did that side. Um, turn it around like this. Get the bottom. Some of that gold down in there and when I do this uh, you can go on the, the frugal crafter and see some of her drawings and the thing I love about it is she draws so that you can see it um, there's another person I love to watch draw um, can't think of his name right now he has that curly afro and got that calm quiet voice and he just paints it's just ah oh, beautiful and he describes like everything that he's painting you know why he's doing it I just love it I love to watch people watercolor I like watercoloring better than oil painting okay my friends we're down to one minute so I am going to blow this dry. Can you see the gold? I'm just going to bring the camera around here so you can get the drift of the mixtures here when that dries. You've got the dark to light. Now if I was to put the crackle paint on there, uh, like put if I put the green and then I put the brown, then the crackle, like letting it dry in stages and then put the gold on top this uh, outdoor folk art metallics gold this is Michael's that would crackle to be amazing that's it I'm gonna do a painting with that I have to do or card I'll do a card I'm on a roll okay 56 seconds I can't turn it over I don't want to start um, maybe I'll use up my uh, paint just painting this on top. Although you're not going to see through it, but why not? Let's use up that paint. There we are. Okay, you have a blessed afternoon. I'll see you on the next video. I'm going to go down and put that out. And put that out. Get it downloaded. Do you know it takes two and a half hours to download? Boy, I'm looking for a new camera that I can get more uh, time on it and a pause button. There we are.